In today's video, we will discuss about Trae AI, which is the ByteDance AI coding tool used and actually an ID developed by ByteDance to write uh, code and also to vibe code. To respond and discuss about Trae AI and go in depth with it, you see here or here we have a scheme uh, from the website Answer the Public because I wanted to do something different today, uh, which is basically respond to questions that people have about it and go through the testing, the application, responding basically to what you might really want to know about it. So first of all, Try AI is uh, an alternative to cursor, to uh, augment code, to raw code, to all the other AI coding tool you might have used in the past. Is actually an ID itself that you can use, which it looks like this. And uh, as you can see, it looks like an IDE, like a Visual Studio Code, quite similar because you can um, search files, have the explorer, source control. You can preview the website, which is cool, uh, the debug session, remote explorer, extension store, if you want to install other things like you would do in VS Code the testing features if you want to use uh, Playwright or other testing tool to test application and containers basically based on what you install you will find it here on the right hand side you have uh, uh, also a section in which you can use AI and um, actions you have the setting section you have a way to select a builder that has already in it the file system the possibility to handle them the terminal the web search and the preview to preview automatically the website but if you also have installed other mcp uh, you can actually use this this section or if you want to create a custom mcp you can create from here by the way let's uh, discuss this in a bit this is just a panoramic on how it looks try ai from bidens uh, then is try better than cursor ai to my personal experience uh, it yes and no is the answer because uh, yes uh, uh, the weight handle mcp is at the moment um, but things are changing very fast um, you can not only install mcps in try ai but you can do it with only one click. But I believe that by now, also Cursor has updated this the same way. Also for the investment they had, uh, they might be going very fast to there. So I would say they are similar, uh, but uh, uh, Try AI is cheaper because you can use it for $0 the first month and then for $10 after. It's very cheap. And, uh, and you have the same code you would have with Cursor of $20 per month, which makes it uh, a bit more attractive. Is a try AI free? Yes, you can use it for free, uh, but up to a certain point. If we go to the try AI pricing, and also we check on the side with Cursor AI pricing, we can see that in Try AI, you, you have a section, $0 per month, where you have 1,000 requests of advanced model a month, which is a lot. And, uh, uh, but uh, slow requests, probably 10 fast requests and 50 slow requests of premium models a month. 1,000 of advanced models, 5,000 autocomplete a month. $10 for 600 fast requests and unlimited slow requests premium models, uh, unlimited request of advanced models and unlimited autocomplete, which is interesting. Also, you see, if you pay yearly, you would pay even less. Cursor, instead, it has uh, the, the $0, the $20 and the $200 potential and the $40 too. You can see that here you, you have um, unlimited agent request, but usage limit applied to some models. Personally, I noticed that when you use a lot cloud for uh, there were a limit uh, to those models. That's what I found a bit crossing when I used extensively cursor. Um, but I only used the twenty dollar per month subscription two months ago. So uh, obviously things might change. Uh, and that's it. So next um, is fully free. We already responded. Is try open source? Yes, it is open source. Um, it is an open source project for developers. Which AI agents are free? Well, mm, a part of Try AI, also GitHub Copilot, 
as a free uh, version, which I really encourage you to, to check because it's very good alternative to try AI. Uh, is try fully free, we already responded. Some are duplicate. Which is better, Cursor or Try AI? Personally, I liked more Try AI for the reason that I can use it more extensively to make more calls. And it stopped me less than Cursor would do. Also, I noticed that the complex project, uh, at the point that I had a membership, didn't seem to understand so well the code base and they would make very silly mistakes which try AI is making less obviously things change very fast between uh, ai so you need to double check uh, because things change who owns try AI? Bytedance. Bytedance is a chinese company I actually worked for uh, when i worked for tiktok um, and they have different business is a very huge huge company uh, they possess the pico which is the virtual reality device competitor of uh, the meta quest um, they have uh, CapCut. they possess uh, tiktok they possess many other social media and other uh, Big, big, it's a giant company um, at the level of the biggest in the world, the Chinese version. So uh, they have a lot of money to invest in and they are also betting in AI. What is the best AI code editor? Uh, I think I mentioned that to my, my opinion, I had the best experience with um, GitHub Copilot, Try AI and um, Augment Code. Uh, is there an AI that can create code? All of them, which is the best AI text editor. I would say GitHub Co Copilot, in my opinion, um, but uh, also Try AI and all the others are very good. Which AI is best for coding? I think I mentioned already. What is the best scripting? How does the generative actually work? Well, uh, uh, what you do is to, uh, the way you communicate with the AI to build stuff uh, is to write prompts uh, in this area, choosing if you want to build there or build with the MCP. And uh, uh, you need to write prompts uh, that can be um, done well, especially asking the context of your question. I want to build a to-do app, giving a role to the AI, so act like a uh, web developer, front-end, back-end expert developer. Uh, give rules. Don't uh, use use this, this uh, uh, stack and not this. Uh, build the files in a modular way. Use single pattern technique, methodologies, design patterns. Um, give rules and also write the, the smallest uh, task possible because if you write the entire huge application it will not definitely perform as much give uh, a co the right context which make generally at the beginning of a project i advise to uh, create a plan to ask a plan for a specific project and then to follow up divide it into tasks and start with the smallest task and proceed on that uh, also now try i has like cursor and others a way to add these rules to the project from setting you can go to uh, agents actually you you can go to, to context you can add documentation for example if you're using next.js you can add the link here to the documentation of next.js and this is very useful to make sure that whatever it implements is according to the best standards this is something very important to do um, also the rules, so you can create uh, global rules and project rules. So global rules is uh, for any project. So if you want the rules to be shared across all different projects, you can write it here in MD5. You can also write a project rule, what rules you write. So go to the website cursor.directory, check the stack of the project you wish to develop, and uh, see there, there, is, there are already MD file uh, ready to be copy pasted here. Or you can uh, go to the root of the project and uh, um, you can uh, there add this file there and it will be read automatically by this is read automatically by try ai and always make sure to follow those rules this is key to make a project done well uh, also the models the models uh, you can choose anyone here there is a list there are also custom models you might add uh, if you want to add an api key if you buy some credits of a specific model you want to use those toward uh, your application you can add this custom model here or maybe you want uh, a model from lm studio uh, a local model that you want to be used 
for here. You can do that too. A fine tuned model, anything really. Um, what I didn't mention, MCP, uh, as you can see, I've installed few of them, but you can add from marketplace. Many of them right now is increasing, or you can add the custom one. You can find to MCP.so, I believe, the list of MCP available. You can add the details here, and they you can basically the project will understand and connect seamlessly with those applications once you connect well with them. This is a very powerful feature, but developed first, of, first time by Anthropic. Um, what else? Um, it seems like we did it all. Uh, so uh, to finish, I built um, an application recent that it uh, um, promised to uh, surpass the ATS machines in job hunting. So get the CV, get a job application, and as a result, it tailored the CV to the job application with a TS score, which can, we, we can decide if we want a, a balanced approach, an aggressive approach to uh, get a good uh, ITS score. Um, to do that, I used try AI all the time. Um, and uh, what I will do, for example, once I build the application is uh, please run the backend and front end of the application. Uh, you don't have to write, please, uh, it's not uh, the best practice. Please, is not doesn't mean anything for um, AI. But you can use uh, like things like uh, I will tip you one hundred dollars if you give me the right answer. This is something actually seems like uh, proven to give good results if you tell that in the end. Also, to write the prompts such as uh, think step by step, uh, uh, writing bullet points. I mean, to the guiding the, of the AI. The good prompt engineering is actually key to get best answers. So now what I will do uh, is to check the application and uh, let me know by the way in the comment, did you like this format? Uh, generally I go without, I talk without any rules, but I think having like uh, um, a way to respond to the people the questions in this way, maybe it's more useful to respond exactly the question you want to make a more quality video, especially considering that uh, I don't have uh, um, otherwise much time to edit those videos. So we can see this is an application built totally with try AI, just with uh, vibe coding, 100% vibe coding. So uh, now it will uh, open. Okay, it opened. I will upload the CV. It takes some time to load. Okay, it uploaded the CV. Now I can I can go to LinkedIn and I can select a job. Say this one. Let's find the one in English. Okay, this one because I'm not sure if it works uh, in uh, in uh, in other languages. Job description will be copied there. The position will be copied in the position and the company's tie break and analyze job description. Well, uh, this is something that I probably need to perfection, uh, but at the moment, this is what it was all built by web coding. How cool is this? Uh, you can choose the IT optimization level, balanced or aggressive. Let's say we want a balanced approach, optimize. Well, it, it didn't optimize much because anyway, I, I asked the AI to not add keyword if they are not, they don't reflect uh, uh, skills and they don't blend well. But uh, the CV itself, well, the CV doesn't look the way it's something to, to be improved. Yeah, definitely this is not a CV that you would send, but uh, probably in another processing would help uh, to um, make it better. But hey, it so was all built by AI and it all works perfectly. Some modification here and there and can definitely improve even further. Uh, that's it from today. I hope this video was useful for you going through try AI. Um, uh, it's a very powerful ID. Um, it has all what you need. You would need from Visual Studio Code. You can use it as a standalone um, AI solution. Um, as you can see, you can choose any different model from here. You can add images, context, and it is developing very fast. What do you think about TriAI? Let me know in the comments and uh, uh, like, subscribe, push the notification bell to follow more videos like this and see you in the next video.